Hello, my name is Ana Paola García Alonso and I study Biomedical Engineering at Instituto Tecnológico de Estudios Superiores de Monterrey. I would like to present the project I've been working with in this summer of Robotics Institute Summer Scholars next to PhD student Samantha Spear and under the guidance of Dr. James McCann and Dr. Melissa Horta Martinez at Carnegie Mellon University, weaving the way through mathematics, physics, and mechanics. This project, we aim to teach math and robotics principles from an artist's perspective through the use of weaving loom and robotics. This project was inspired by hands-on educational activities and the potential they have shown in helping students concretize abstract concepts by connecting them through the physical world. In this case, simple weaving offers many possibilities for exploring concepts in geometry, set theory, and linear algebra. The creation of weaving patterns, for example, can be decomposed into matrix multiplication. In order to tie these concepts with robotics, we have chosen to design a robotic jacquard loom specifically designed for educational activities. The main inspirations for this project were a low-cost computational tabletop loom and the open-source haptic device for educational applications HapKit. Thanks to these, we have been able to develop a mixture of both in order to create this loom. Our current prototype is a loom designed to be assembled as a kit with 40 individual actuator heddles in winded thread, made from readily available and 3D printed parts. The loom is controlled by an Arduino Mega and the Arduino platforms. Here we see the components of the loom. And during the summer project, its main focus is to design the tensioning system, which is highlighted in blue. This is due to the fact that maintaining consistent and uniform tension is a crucial step in the weaving process in order to get and appreciate the proper pattern. This loom allows for complex patterns because of the individual thread control system that was designed with it, which in return is a good tool for educational purposes while maintaining the integrity of a proper piece of fabric and remaining low cost. The main software for design was the CAD software SOLIDWORKS. Here we see a closer look on some of the main components that were designed using this platform. The advantage of this is that once the system has been properly understood, it can be easily remodeled to fit future projects. And here we get a closer look at the tensioning mechanisms and at different stages and some of the components that were designed for each of the stages where we can see a bobbin holder that the thread is wound upon, the rod spacer for additive tension mechanisms which holds the specific tension and distance at which each of the disc and springs should be held, and a personalized 26 millimeter diameter tensioning disc. On a more closer look, we can observe that the tensioning mechanism consists of three stages. Each thread is individually wound in a bobbin, which is held by the mechanism shown in stage A. Afterwards, it's individually wrapped around its corresponding disc in stage B, and finally goes over the back shaft shown in stage C. During stages B and C, the tension of thread is being affected by a number of factors. In stage B, we can see an additive tensioning system which basically consists of the thread being compressed by the discs and the force of the spring, which is in return hold by the rod spacer shown previously. In stage C, the change in direction that the shaft, the change in direction provided by the shaft makes a change in the tension because of a multiplicate property, which is in return known as a multiplicative tensioning system. Besides these images, we can see the equations that represent both models, and when combined, we get the resulting equation that helps us determine the expected tension in our system. This division also helps the student analyze the process of tension while assembling it and being able to distinguish both equations. The initial design was individual was an individual disc tensioning system. However, as the prototype stages began, we found more useful to separate the storage of each thread and its tension mechanism, which was considered at stage A, B, and C. As we can see, the newest prototype shown in figure F, we can see that instead of holding the disc, it only holds the bobbin as well and consists of a nut, screw, the bobbin and the case, which go 
accordingly to the storage space in stage A and allow for individual manipulation in case there is anything wrong with the thread. We observe the performance with three classic weaving patterns in order to assess if the tension was being maintained properly. We tested a plain weave shown in figure A, a twill weave shown in figure B, and a herringbone weave. We also detected areas of improvement, mechanical details that should be modified in future models, and the benefits of having the current model. We can see it maintain consistent tension to form the pattern shown in the pictures and resembling the desired pattern very closely. In the meantime, we also tested how easy it was to readjust specific rows of thread and correcting the tension mismatches while weaving. Here we can see the observing performance of actively warping the bead and how the mechanism holds this tension while being manipulated. In order to provide future observations, we first look at the benefits of the current model, which was an easy replacement of various numbers of threads whenever tension was lost, easy adjustment, uh, easy configuration and organization of each thread, and we also measured that the tension was not uniform, but it was consistent in every thread and it was between 50 and 300 grams of tension depending on its position from the edge to the middle position. In future works we hope to enhance the performance on the edge threads so that the fabric can be held more consistently and to diminish the points of friction that the thread go right now in the current model also augment the uniform tension that is held so that in average all the thread have around the same tension and to provide an accessory that brings continuous feedback on tension measurements so that the user can know if a thread loses a specific amount of tension and is able to fix the problem before it presents though. We also hope to observe the performance in an educational setting during an undergraduate computational thinking course and see how well and intuitive this model has been for the students. Finally, I would like to acknowledge uh, all the institutions and labs that made this project possible, mainly the Robotics Institute Summer Scholars for bringing me the opportunity, Shred Lab for being home of this project, the Carnegie Mellon Textiles Lab for being an important guide through the design of this tension mechanism. I would like to give special thanks to Rachel Blurchin and John Dolan for making RISC 2022 live edition possible. This work was also inspired by Leah Albao's work on a low-cost Jacquard loom for mathematics instruction. And thank you to the School of Computer Science and the Robotics Institute for funding this research.